Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I have got my flexi hand ready. Um, I'm gonna be using the Nail Commute Genesis acrylic system today. Uh, the colors I'm using are Glistening Rose and Crystal. So I'm only using the, they're like cover pink and they're crystal, which is clear. So we've got those two colors. I'm using some Micro Mylar from Nail Sugar. This is a mix of all of the different Micro Mylars that Nail Sugar has. And I've mixed it with some clear acrylic to make my own, pretty, pretty much my own acrylic mix, basically, because that's how I roll. <laughs> and I'm using some of these. These are the new... I don't know what they're called actually. They're like the spring colored butterflies. So all different colors in there. I love them. I was like, oh, I need to use those. We have to use those. The weather's been poop. So we're gonna use some butterflies. Oh, just to make everything a little bit better. So I basically, I wanna tell you about this acrylic system. I put the video is in real time. So this is in real time. So I've picked up my bead. I'm gonna drain some of the liquid out of the back of the brush and then I'm gonna place that smile line bead on my nail. Now, as I've said before in previous video, videos, I, I find myself chasing the beads and I always, I worry because I drain the liquid out the back of the brush and, and I'm, like, I'm still having to chase that bead. But as you can see here, the bead isn't really, I mean, it is moving down slightly, but I'm not having to chase it. It's just, sitting there nicely for me to mold into place i'm just gonna okay i don't get my shape perfect if i'm honest but this is why we can use our hand file just to neaten up the smile line but you i mean i have here you i've got plenty of time i'm still moving this it's still moving when i push it with a brush it's just it's so nice actually i can't tell you because i haven't used it for a little while because i've been using colored acrylics and now can we don't actually have any colored acrylics at the moment so i've been using a different brand but this set that i've done today is obviously pretty much a glass set so i'm like okay i'm going to use now acrylic again and it's just re reassured me of what i thought before i really like this system to work with it's just beautiful and i can't wait for the day they bring out new colors <laughs> i'm like counting down the days for you know because i just i just i'm praying that the colors are just as nice as these because i am totally in love with these i've put my cuticle bead on still working in real time but you can see i've still got plenty of time to work it's not running all over the show it's blended really nicely over that first bead i just I just can't say enough good things about us. I just love this. Just, I'm just really, I'm just gonna shut up because I just really like it. And I wanted you to see that it isn't, it, it's just a really nice system to work with. For me, this is so far my ideal system. So look, I'm still playing with it and it's still just, I'm gonna put another bead on. I'm gonna speed it up now. I'm just going to place another bead over the top just so that when I file it I know that I definitely got enough product there to create my apex and everything. And then I'm going to leave that to set and then later on I am going to go over it with my hand file because I do just need to refine that smile line a little bit. For the rest of the nails I'm going to put some of the glistening rose. I just, I did I, did, I would have touched the skin if this was a client. I would have touched the skin there, look. But I'm just gonna put my brush in just to carefully move the product away and brush it down. So we're basically gonna, we're just blending the color over what would be the natural nail bed. And I'm gonna try and keep the majority of the free edge clear of acrylic, like clear of the colored acrylic. So I'm just gonna show you me doing this one now. But again, I mean, you can see I've got time to play with the product. It's not running everywhere. I'm blending it down and it's just blending nicely. And I'm gonna move some of that color off that tip because as I said before, I want that to be nice and clear. Not actually, it probably isn't really that clear in the end because I do put more micro mylar on than I thought I would, but I love it. So I've done all of the nails and 
I'm just gonna pull your client's finger off to do this bit. We're gonna, if you tap it, if it makes a nice dink, 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 it's definitely dry. If it makes a donk, 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 it's not dry, it's not set. But once it goes dink, 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 you're gonna use your hand file to refine that smile line. This isn't in real time. I guess you've guessed that though. <laughs> And then I'm gonna. I thought I'd. I thought I'd tip them onto the paper towel. These little butterflies, because I thought it'd be easier for me to get them out. So I'm just gonna move them so that I'm happy. Now because the mylar is already in some clear acrylic, I don't have to worry about getting a small bead of acrylic. I can just dip my brush into that mylar, and then I'm gonna spread it from the nail bed all the way to the free edge. Not. I'm not gonna do it all the way to the bottom because I want the bottom to be just the glistening rose acrylic um so it's more of a more of a fade and then someone rang me so my phone cut off then <laughs> but the index note what's this one the ring finger um i'm going to cover the whole of the free edge with the micro mylar and then i'm going to add some butterflies i'm using the different color butterflies i'm not using the same color butterfly on one nail and I'm gonna vary it from three to four butterflies per nail. So again, I'm putting the micro mylar on, and mostly at the free edge, but I am blending it down slightly over that nail bed. I just absolutely love this. Oh, I just love it. So again, I'm making sure I've got four or three different color butterflies. Because I don't want them all the same on one nail. I'm just gonna put a little bit of clear acrylic over those just to make sure that when I come to cap them, they don't move all over the place because I want them to stay where they are. I thought I'd put another one up there because this looked like a four butterfly nail to me. <laughs> I'm actually in my car doing this because my kids are so noisy. It's actually really late, it's about half past six. So I've got to get this up pronto, <laughs> otherwise it's gonna be late. It's been one of those days. Okay, so the last, well, I think this is the last nail that I show you me doing, I think. I don't know because they're all pretty much the same. I don't know, I can't remember how many. Someone said to me, you, sometimes I don't seem to know what I've done on a set. Sometimes I'll do the set and then I'll edit the video and then I do the voiceover like on a different day. So I kind of forget what I do. Um, so that's why I probably sound a bit like, um, do I do this? Oh no, actually I do this. That's probably why, because some days I leave it a few days before I do the voiceover. So this is what they look like before we cap them. I am going to show you me capping the pinky in clear because I want to see, I, I want you to see me working with the clear acrylic because I want you to see what it's like. So again, I'm getting, I've got a nice sized bead and I place it on at the cuticle area. Again, look, that bead is not running all over the place. I'm able to work, what's the word? I don't know, but I'm able to work the bead and it's given me enough time to work that clear acrylic down the free edge of the nail. I'm making sure I wipe my brush because I don't want my brush to get icky, icky with acrylic. <laughs> I don't know what the word is. Okay, so I'm just gonna push the rest of that acrylic down to the free edge and then just kind of, yeah, I don't know what I'm on about now. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm going to put a little bit more acrylic at the free edge because I was just worried that when I come to file it, I don't want to file through the mylar or the butterflies because it was quite thin at the end. I know it does need to be thin. Um, and then I'm going to put a little bit more acrylic across the apex area to create some structure because I didn't want it to be too thin. So only a little bit. We don't need masses. I just, I, oh, I'm so, I'm, I got really excited creating this set and I always, I, it, you need to be excited about a product and a set of nails, otherwise it's just not, is it worth doing? I don't know. And doing this set, I was just excited all the way through. I just loved it. So I've capped all of these. I'm now gonna file and buff them. And another thing about this acrylic is it is a nice one to file. So that they're all filed and buffed nicely. So I'm going to use Nalchemy's non-wipe top coat to do the top coat in time. This literally is probably the best top coat in time I can remember doing. Look at this set of nails. 
I bloody love it. <gasps> like, honestly. Mm, look at those, though. Look. Look how clear that acrylic is. Look how amazing the mylar is with the butterflies. I just love everything about this set. This has got to be one of my favourite sets to date, I think. I'm going to be bold enough to say it. Oh, I just love it. Let me know if you have tried Nalchemy's trial kit or if you've got their acrylics. And let me know what you think of them so far. Because so far, I bloody love them. I sound like a broken record. But I do. It's just how it is. <laughs> that look. Oh my gosh. Genuinely. And could you imagine what these look like matte finished with like a matte top coat on as well? Because they're, they're like, oh, I just, I don't know. I just don't know what to say anymore. There we go. Oh, look. I do also go underneath the nail with some clear, not clear acrylic, um, some, some top coat because I want the ends to be kind of glassy. I missed that corner there. I do get it though, I think, in the end. P.S. P.S. Don't look at my nails. They are so bad at the moment. I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. There we go. So I am going to pop these in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. Oh, don't they look incredible? I don't mean that in a big-headed way. I just, I just love this set. Mm. Look, I love it so much. I think I stay on this part for a little bit too long. But look, look, I dropped my phone. <laughs> Take two. Isn't that gorgeous though? Look how clear and shiny that top coat is. And the acrylic. Oh, I love it. I love the mylar. I love the, the glistening rose acrylic. I love the clear acrylic. I love the butterflies. I'm so, so happy with this set. I'm going to shut up now. I hope you like it too. If you did, please leave a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Do check out Nalchemy's website and Nail Sugar's website because if you order from Nail Sugar, you can get 10% off using my code NATMUG10. <gasps> Have a good evening and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>